Now you listen to me, young man, or young woman, or young non-binary. It's all good. You and I need to have a chat about this. Because let's be honest, fragrances have become boring. Fragrances are just like whatever. Okay. In fact, I, I'll, in fact, no. Hang on. Let me let me correct that. Fragrances in general have become boring. But, I mean, this year has actually been amazing. Some bangers have come out this year. The biggest one that I thought that I was going to, I'm going to be doing a video later on in the month that's going to be like, you know, top 10 greatest releases of 2023. And there's a lot. There's a lot. Like props to the fragrance houses for finally trying this year. Well done. Apart from Creed, they're still doing their bloody shenanigans. But... I was ready to give it to Gucci Guilty Elixir, the number one spot. I was ready. I was revving up, and I, I know I'm going to be buying it soon. And I was like, I'll just give you the freaking throne. I will buy the pedestal off Amazon. I will put you on it, and that will be that. But then, and I'm going to be, che I'm going to, I'm going to tell the full story here. This gentleman bought a fragrance consultation. It's cheeky, but it's clever. It's actually so freaking clever. Bought a fragrance consultation. Nice chap. And we had a great fragrance consultation. And then, uh, and at the end, nervously, he said to me, um, can I send you a fragrance? That is so freaking cheeky. And it was, it was very cheeky. You should have thought about it, but you did, but you were so timid and so nervous that I felt sorry for you. And so I went, oh, okay, fine. Now, when he told me that it was this, I went, oh, I've actually heard about this. And he'd also sent me an email uh, previously about it. And look, I get asked to try a lot of different fragrances. I get emailed almost daily with different uh, fragrance houses, mostly clone houses that are like, do you want to smell my version of Aventus? And I'm like, I don't know, do you want to fuck off and get an original idea? I don't say that, I'm polite, usually, but I was like, okay, fine. This doesn't look like an Aventus clone. This doesn't look like a clone in general. You get points just for that. But I was like, fine, I'll take it. Anyway, and don't worry, this isn't like, he hasn't paid me. He, I don't, no offense to the guy, I don't think he has, I don't think he has the kind of money to be making brand deals. I felt as though actually him doing a fragrance consultation with me was, I don't know, I don't think it was out of desperation, but it was like, could, could just somebody, look, it's really difficult to start your own fragrance company. It's difficult to start any company. So anyway, I bit, I said, all right, fine, send me the, your fragrance. And let me tell you something. This is the fragrance that you keep asking us for. Okay, what do I mean by that? It's really subtle, what I just said. Wait, right, okay. I know you're tired. I'm tired. We're tired of the fucking clones, the endless repetitive nature of fragrances. It feels like we're in fragrance Groundhog Day right now. Totally understand that. I feel like that. It's Aventus Sauvage Blue de Chanel, Aventus Sauvage Blue de Chanel. And it feels as though the fragrance landscape is this gentrified city where it's just the same consistent brands. It's the same thing. And there's no little mum and pop independent shops in this city. No, it's just Creed store. Store pretending to be Creed. Dior Sauvage store. Still pretending to be, and we're all tired, we're all bored. There are, of course, many different exceptions, obviously. Some great fragrances have been released, but even Gucci Guilty Elixir, which I think is fantastic, I think it's one of the best releases of the year, it's kind of a Reflection Man riff, right? It's just kind of a Reflection Man thing. But a truly original fragrance that is unique, that is wearable, that's important, that people will like, and we'll get you compliments. I don't think I've seen one of those. I'm probably like... Like eight years? I just hadn't really even thought about it. Jesus. Imagine. You're leaving the city. You're tired and sick of the city with all of the commercialized and gentrified areas of it, with all of the Creed shops, with all of the Dior Sauvage shops, with all of the same thing over and over again. And you decide that you're gonna to go to the woods. You decide that you're going to go 
into the wild. And it's a bit scary, it's a bit spooky. The dark forest is there, but the dark forest is also quite welcoming. Very green, incredibly mossy. There's grass, and then in the woods, you've also got thyme and rosemary. There's a lot of herbs, there's a lot of earth, and then there's a lot of soil. And then, as you're walking through the woods, you find a washing machine. Like straight up, you find a washing machine. And it's working, the, the, the thing's turning, the thing, and you're like, what? Like, how does, what? How does this work? There's no electricity, there's no power bank. You don't know how it's working. You don't know where its energy source is, but you go with it. The cycle stops, the door opens automatically, and you get a whiff of this bleachy, soapy, fabric conditioner kind of smell just suddenly launches into the woods and it, it, it doesn't make any sense because it's so clean and conditionary and, and nice and pleasant, but it's also in the air that has all of the trees and wood and moss and rosemary and thyme. And it's just a cacophony of interesting smells. Now, to me, it is probably just hitting spring. So this isn't like a really thick smell. It isn't a really deep smell. It's not like incredibly enriched. There's, there's a lightness to it. As this dries down, it becomes even more herby. There's even more thyme in here and a little bit more of the rosemary. And the clean smell starts to go. And what you're left with as you go down and down and down is a very earthy and very herby scent that's completely likable, that's completely pleasant. I've had a compliment from this on my first wearing of it. That is freaking crazy. But to me, it is just so original, so interesting, and so compelling. It's easily like one of my favorite fragrance releases of the year, if not the best release of the year. So let's go through the sort of the usual review cycle. Presentation. This is, you know, it's good. It, the box it comes in is absolutely amazing. The bottle is fine. You know, you can tell that it was done on a little bit of a budget, but that's totally cool. I can totally work with it. I actually think this is one of the better uh, budget fragrances that I've seen. The embossing of the Into the Wild um, logo is really, really cool. And it sets the intention with the color of the juice. When you see this, when you see the presentation, it really kind of gives you an idea of what the smell is gonna be. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but this book cover pretty much tells the story of the book. So I think that uh, presentation is, I'd say good. Absolutely good. Probably the most original fragrance, probably the most unique fragrance I've smelt this year. And I've smelt a lot of good fragrances. This is the most original fragrance that I've smelt, and thank God. Thank God, like, I forgot. Didn't you forget? Weren't you like, I think that they've done everything now. I don't think you can do anything more. But it's actually original. It's not a clone. It's not, I swear. I know, I was shocked as well. It's not a clone. It doesn't smell like Aventus. I know, right? Doesn't smell like Sauvage. I know, right? Doesn't smell like freaking Bleu de Chanel. Doesn't smell like all the Invictuses, all the Paco Rabans. Doesn't smell like La Malle. Doesn't smell, no, nothing. It's just an original idea. And it's not great, here's the thing, like there's loads of different sort of original ideas in a way, but it's also wearable because sometimes usually in the niche um, fragrance world, you have to go to the point where it's like ridiculous, like where it's unwearable to get something that's original. And so I was like, oh, you do, I guess you just can't do original fragrances anymore um, that are wearable, perfectly wearable, perfectly original. I, you already know how I feel about it. I've told you what this smells like. So let's go with likability. So this, has already got me a compliment and I can already see how this would actually be quite appealing to a kind of a mainstream audience even though it, it smells kind of earthy and the thing that is holding it back is the cleanliness um, from the washing machine detergent smell that's in here but there's also a very masculine earthiness I don't think that this is a, a Ventus level but I think that it's actually and I'm gonna take a bit of a flyer on this I think it's very likely that it's a people pleaser. You know, I got an, uh, a compliment straight off the bat, but I have, you know, I've, I've worn it out and I've asked people, I've said, what do you think of this? And people are like, oh yeah, that's really nice. That's really nice. It's not like groundbreaking. It's, you know, I haven't had people go like, oh my God, what is that? I need to wear that. 
but still like it's very pleasant and it just sets an interesting tone and if you're an outdoorsman if you're somebody who enjoy, enjoys the wild and the outdoors then this could really really work for you projection is very very good in fact it's really really quite strong i'd say that this is even more so than a room filling i think that if you spray enough of this on, it can actually be a house filling fragrance. It's a very, very strong fragrance. Excellent projection, absolutely excellent. The longevity though is not uh, like insane, but I think that it's probably the a 10 to 12 hour mark, I think is, is perfectly reasonable. This fragrance lasts, this fragrance really, really works. Overall, uh, my personal rating is that this is a six out of five fragrance. It's one of the most original fragrances I've smelt in years. It's one of the most unique fragrances I've smelt in a long time. And it's not just that, it's the unique to wearability ratio that really is gonna make this fragrance catch on. Because when people say that they want unique fragrances, what they actually want, I get this with consultations all the time, they're like, I want something really unique. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, well, I want something really wearable and something that's going to get me compliments, but it's really unique. And I'm like, unfortunately, there is kind of a formula to that. You know, everything has a formula. Music has, you know, formulaic bands and, you know, pop stars and even films and movies are formulaic. But what you need is every now and then is you need something that's going to be, that has a, that, that attains, that, that goes along with the established formula, but then breaks a few rules along the way to make it more unique and interesting. And in a way, to me, this fragrance, and here's a quote if you want it, this is the matrix of fragrances to me. As in The Matrix was a kick-ass, amazing film. One of the best films uh, of the 90s, loved it, was one of the films that inspired me to become a filmmaker because it had a formula, had the sort of the classic uh, hero's journey, Joseph Campbell um, idea, but it had a lot of unique ideas in it that made it more enticing and more interesting. And that to me is what Into the Wild does. It does go along with the formula of being clean, most definitely, but it adds so much to it, so much uh, different earthy and woodsy forest elements to it that gives it something unique and interesting to strive for. Anyway, thanks so much. Fragrance consultations start today. They start today and they're gonna be running for 12 days and then that's it until next year, probably July. So if you want a fragrance consultation and you want to pitch me a fragrance, please don't do that, actually. That was quite cheeky. Don't do that to me. It puts me in a bit of a, a, an awkward position. Please don't buy fragrance consultations to pitch me fragrances. Thank you so much for watching. And this is one hell of a fragrance. I would highly recommend that you check it out. It's a six out of five from me. One of, if not the best fragrance releases of the entire year. And I wanted to get this video out soon because trust me, all the other fragrance reviewers are going to be talking about it. I want to get in there first. Right, thanks so much on the Fragrance Race.